Hereditary. Ari Aster was the king of Scream in 2018 following the release of Hereditary, the story of a family haunted both figuratively and literally. I'm laughing because I say that a lot. Mental illness can plague a family for generations. So can entering into a pact with Haman, one of the nine princes of hell, a demon associated with the vast accumulation of material wealth. Hereditary uses miniatures to illustrate compartmentalization and repetition, the literal recreation of past traumas. Hereditary has one of the best first act twists ever committed to film. A twist so sudden and shocking that it felt close to genuine trauma for me as a film goer. A good thing about Hereditary is that even if you don't want to plumb a film for subtext and symbolism, you can enjoy the film as a supernatural tour de force with one of the best liminal jump scares ever committed to celluloid. I saw Hereditary at South by Southwest in 2018. I saw it completely blind and I had no idea what I was getting into. And I hope all of you as film fans have that opportunity at some point in your lives because there's nothing like going into a film blind and emerging certain that it's one of the best things you've ever seen five years later. I still think that Hereditary is the best and scariest American horror movie since The Exorcist. Ari Aster's sophomore effort, Midsummer, will definitely be the subject of a future episode. As will Bo is not afraid. In the meantime, if you really want to fuck yourselves up, go search for Ari Aster's short film, The Strange Thing About the Johnsons. Or don't.